Hello, folks, and welcome to Three at Three. Three at Three today brought to you, of course, by Market Rebellion. I am your host, John Najarian. Glad to have you here. Um, we'll go over some unusual option activity and maybe even some follow-ups on winners and losers. I'll show you how we play both right after this. Unusual activity is what Pete and I have basically made most of our careers once we left the trading floor. Uh, we've made our careers out of this. And this is uh, unusual all buying or unusual put buying. We don't really care about sales. People sell for a whole bunch of reasons, folks. Um, we care about the purchases because anytime you sell an option, all you can make is what you sold the option for. Example, you sell an option for $1.50. That's all you can make. Now, you could, if you're doing a covered right and you're selling it against the stock, of course, the stock can just keep going. And uh, the option uh, that you've sold against it can actually truncate or top out how many profits you might have in that given position. But the option that you've sold is all that you can make. So if you thought that you had tomorrow's news today, you would be an option buyer. You would buy the option in hopes that it would 3x, 5x, 10x uh, the return. Can't do that by selling it. By selling an option, you can only make what you've sold the option for. So with that said, let's get started with today, April 5th, 7, right now. Let's see. Pete talked about Twitter and unusual activity here. Um, why did he do that? Because we had unusual activity, and he put this one on the halftime report. This was the 25th of March, and uh, as Scott and I discussed on the show today, we bought calls, upside calls, um, that were quite cheap. Pete cited those. I cited it um, on our three and threes and so forth, and guess what? Stock exploded to the upside on Mr. Musk yesterday, and as you know, continued higher again today. That's as of today, um, about an hour ago, 51.52 up another 3%. So of course the right to buy it at 44, which Pete was talking about here, um, was worth $7.51, not bad. Um, but there's more. Um, the options traded considerably more than that because of course a call option has both time and the embedded put uh, that you would need to basically create a risk-free position. Thus, these options traded over $9 yesterday. Bang! From $1.20 to $9. That's why we trade options. Now let's look at one, um, for instance, here that didn't work out. As I told you, not every trade works. We certainly hope they do, but um, uh, lithium, lithium America. So last week, we saw the strong buying of calls, April 45 calls. Uh, that was last week, which would have been leading into April 1st. So in other words, they had two weeks and a day. They were buying those April 45 calls, paid 20 cents, paid as high as 50 cents for them, 5,200, which is 520,000 shares of stock. It's a big trade. We followed it. It did not work. Instead, LAC, Lithium America traded to the downside. Let me see where she is today. Let's see. LAC, according to my trading account, is 34.75, down 10%. Now, the good news is that over the last few days, it did trade up immediately after, and you could have taken profits north of $40 a share, which we talked about on this show. And we said, you know, hey, you don't lift, look a gift horse in the mouth. You've got to trade these short dated options uh, quickly, cut your losses and run or take your profits and run because you only have a few days. In this case, I think there were about 11 trading days is all um, on, from the 30th until these expire um, next Friday. So I'm pointing it out because the stock is back down, it's down $4 today to 34.71. So if you're somebody who did not take the opportunity to take your profits. Are you still holding? If you are, um, I think it's rather foolish because you had a chance to take a lot of money off the table. 
that's not me judging you. That just, you know, again, I'm trying to embed with you the same discipline that Pete and I have. And that is take the profits fast on a short-term option. Take the uh, losses fast on a short-term option. So if you're still in these and it's only got a week to go, I think it's time to say bye-bye to the position. You got to decide. I can't pull triggers for you. Maybe the stock gets taken out at 50 Thursday of next week. Maybe, but uh, I don't like investing on maybe. Here's another one, um, and it is Southwest Energies. So Southwest Energy um, obviously uh, continues to work for us. We talked about it when the stock, the April 6 calls were bought aggressively. They still have over a week to live. Um, bought about 520,000 share equivalent. That's what 5,200 options is again, same day, the 30th last week. But look at where they've gone already. They're $1.63 in the money now, in the money. So same uh, lecture, if you want to view it as that, as I gave you just a moment ago. Move quickly on these short dated options. Do you hold on all the way till next Friday? Maybe you do, but I don't. If I continue to get unusual activity, I will roll up and out, meaning I will roll to a higher strike, like the $7 strike, and out further in time to have more time to be right. Expiring options are very quick to turn into nothing. So something that's $1.63 in the money plus the embedded premiums that I discussed, I think you take profits, but I can't tell you what to do. I am not your financial advisor. I can tell you what I do, and that's what I do, folks. All right, one more. Royal Caribbean, you already know it's popped as high as 85 bucks. It's still at 83, 83 today. These are June options. You have a lot more time on these, but be aware, options, uh, or rather the uh, stock will report earnings, EPS, as you see there, on the 28th um, of April. So just before that June timeframe comes in. As you saw today, uh, Carnival Cruise reported record sales for a single day or for a single week last week. Keep an eye on this one. And keep an eye on Crypto Convo. I had a great conversation with Michael Casey, former Wall Street Journal reporter uh, on the uh, staff at MIT. So in other words, pretty cerebral dude. And he is on the board at Coindesk and their chief content officer at Coindesk. We'll be posting that up shortly. Crypto Convo with me, John Najarian. You can watch it at CryptoConvo.com. All right, today, what was I seeing? Well, as Scott Wapner asked um, during that segment of the show where I get to talk about it, um, here's what I was seeing. Vanguard uh, FTSE. Uh, so what is the Vanguard FTSE Europe? Well, um, it is the uh, ETF that tracks the large cap stocks in Europe. And it was trading 63 earlier this morning as you might imagine, because it's down 51 cents, which would have put it just over 63. Um, and uh, we saw unusual option activity on the put side. So people are betting that some of the sanctions are really starting to bite in Europe. Um, it's one of the reasons we do not like Europe. Um, I love visiting. So God bless all my friends over there, but do I wanna invest in something that has a lot less liquidity than America? that is a lot closer to a war zone than America? No, I don't. If it gets cheap enough, yeah, I'd take a shot. But as this put buyer showed us, they are betting that this one goes lower. So Vanguard VG, VGK rather, VGK is the symbol for the Vanguard FTSE Europe index. And I am long puts in this one. There it is, um, 18,000, that's 1.8 million share equivalent. Somebody wanted to get some short exposure in a hurry, folks. Bang. Next one, Invesco Solar. So this has been all over the place today. Um, it's at 77.65 as of that moment that CNBC had me on. They are buying the May 85 calls. Now, you know, most times I'm not going to buy the 85 calls. At a minimum, I'm going to buy an at-the-money call and hope that if it rallies, I'll be able to sell those 85s or higher strike against it. That's the way I play. TAN is the symbol. It holds a whole bunch of solar stocks in this ETF. 
and 4,500 is 450,000 share equivalent buying out of the money calls in May. So two expirations into the future. Third and final is Synovus Energy, this Canadian energy play, oil and gas up in Canada, 1734 on the stock, buying June 18 calls. So what's a new investor to do? Well, you might want to think about buying some at the money calls and selling upside calls against it. Could even buy an in the money call like the 17th and sell upside calls against it as it rallies. Time decay is not as fierce because these are uh, April, May, June, three months into the future. So time decay is not really as much of an enemy as it is in short-term options. Be aware of that. Also be aware that 10,700 is uh, 1 million plus shares of CVE. Love the energy space, love the uranium play, love the coal plays, love the oil and gas plays. Bang, Synovus fits that for me, CVE, strong, unusual activity. Well, before I say goodbye, I wanna let you know that in just uh, 45 minutes, I will be on with the one and only Ryan Mastro. And we will be talking about fear puts and greed calls uh, in the market and the best ways that you can play it using unusual option activity. It is a free webinar. You can go to Market Rebellion and sign up right now. Do it before three o'clock uh, Central Time, four o'clock Eastern Time. So you can join us and we will show you exactly how we trade some of these very lucrative, unusual option activities like Twitter. Bang. I'll see you then, folks. Those of you who don't join us, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.